Mama Cuzzo was in the house. She's in the house. She's in the house. Mama Cuzzo was in the house. Hey, she's in the house. She's in the house. It's M to the A to the M to the A to the C U Z Z O. It's Mama Cuzzo. M to the A to the M to the A to the C U Z Z O. It's Mama Cuzzo. And I am back in the building. You already know what we do. Don't act like you don't know. We're going to pray over this. Oh, okay, I thought you forgot. Because I ain't been here in a while. But hold on. Let's pray over this book, okay? Our Father, was joined in heaven. We thank you today, oh Father God. For Lord, we thank you for your many blessings. We thank you for protecting us. We thank you for keeping us from safe from all harm and danger, oh Father God. Lord, I just want to say whatever you are doing in this season, don't leave me and my family out of nothing that you're doing, oh Father God. I ask you, oh Father God, that their blessings that they receive, oh Father God, that they know how to share with other people, oh Father. Don't let them be selfish and hold it to themselves. Oh Father God, I ask you that this food be a nourishment to my body. This I ask in your name. Amen, amen, amen. What's up, fam? Today I got me some crawfish, I got me some corn, and I got me some potatoes in the building. Y'all already know what I do. Let me straighten this up a little bit. And I got me some potato. Mama Cuzzo, where you been? Mama Cuzzo, where you been? I been in here, fam. I been in here chilling. Mm hmm I didn't feel like doing all that butter stuff, so I pulled out the spray butter. <laughs> he just pulled out the spray butter today. Mm. This is really good. Look, man. If my eye looking kind of funny. I may mean, still got a little crab ball in it, but the show must go on. It must go on. The show must go on. But let me tell you. Mm. I got a little thirst now, real quick. Mm. Move that out the way. Now let's get into these crawfish. Excuse me. Should I just put them down here, okay? beat this button. Can't nothing beat it. Hold on. Good. Mama Cuzzo, why you gonna stick the whole potato in your mouth? Because I ain't got to. Because <laughs> I ain't got to if I don't want to. These potatoes is so, so rolling. So rolling. So rolling. Oh, potatoes. So rolling. Let's do that for now. So rolling. Mm -hmm. You can tell I'm hungry today. Let me tell you, fam. That would happen. 
I had to eat what I had to taste for. Fam, give me some ideas because I'm tired of eating. I am truly tired of eating this food. That's why you haven't been seeing me lately. Because I'm tired of eating. People don't get tired of eating. I don't. I don't. I get tired of eating. I had to come over here. I ain't been over here in about two weeks. Six days, eight days, ten days. I don't know, but let me tell you something. I came over here because I got a word for you. My mama shared it with me. And it's a must that I shared with you. I'm going to tell you the topic, and when I get done eating, I'm going to... We're gonna talk about it. And sorta of, kinda, what the preacher was talking about, and my mama was talking about kinda of collided together, okay? My mama was talking about don't let your blessings send you to hell. Fam, I never thought about nothing like that. So she said, I said, wow. I never heard of that, mom. Then she began to talk about the proud of son, which is my favorite, favorite, favorite story in the Bible. So, Let me tell you. Because I asked her the same thing. I said, Mom, what do you mean? Oh, he's good, fam. She said, God blesses people with blessings. And when he blesses them, you know, they be so selfish. They, want, they don't want to share their blessing. She said, you know your mother is a blessing to you. I said, right? She said, disrespecting your mother Doing things to your mother that's not pleasing in God's eyesight will send you to hell. Then she said, you know, your kids are a blessing to you. She said, mistreating your kids, not loving your kids will send you to hell. She said, God blesses people with so many blessings. And the people take the blessings and don't want to share the blessings with nobody else. They want to keep it all to themselves. But that's not why God bless you with the things that he bless you with. He blesses you because he wants you to share those blessings with other people. And we begin to talk. And I said, wow, mom, I never knew 
that your blessings could see you to hell. That's when she went to talking about the pride of son. See, in the Bible, the pride of son In the Bible, he had two sons. And the sons told them they wanted their riches while they was here on earth. So he decided to give them their riches while they was on earth. He gave his one son part and the other son the other part. But one of the sons took and ran off with his riches, okay? He used it up. He did everything. And he used up all his riches. Well, anyway, to make a long story short, he ended up eating slop with the pigs. Can you imagine eating slop with the pigs because you done spent all your money that your father has given you? Or your mother has given you? Well, in the process, he was too embarrassed to come back home. I think I told y'all about this one time before in one of my videos. My mother just brought it back up to me. So in one time he decided to come home. He said, I gotta go home. I'll just be a servant in my father's house. So when the father see him coming from afar, he said, get the fatty calves out. My son is on his way home. So the other son say, father, how could you love him so much? And I've been here with you all this time and the father told him you will have my riches basically don't be jealous of your brother your brother been gone but he's back home that's how God do us <clears throat> we can go out there and live a life Thinking we doing good because God has blessed us with so many things in life. Then all of a sudden we done lost everything. Now we back to praying to God, asking God to help us. So we have to go back home to God. But in the process of going back home, we be thinking, oh, I done done so bad. I don't want, God said, come on back. I was waiting on you all this time. Get the fatty calves out. My child is on his way back home. So, when I got to church yesterday, oh, the preacher was talking about John 4th chapter. I don't know if it's the 4th or the 3rd, but the 43rd verse. When he was saying how we don't be accepted in our own country, how God was not accepted in his own country. But when God was on his way to Galilee, the Galilee people accepted him. And when he accepted them, they had a man that came up to God and said, God, I need you to come to my house. I need you to heal my son because his son was dying. And God said, go home. So the pastor was like, can you imagine us out here waiting on God? Because our children are sick, this earthly people. And our children are sick and saying, God, you mean to tell me you want me to go home? And I done came all the way over here. You know how we at. I done came all the way over here to talk to you about my son. Are you talking about telling me to go home? I ain't going home. You need to heal my son. But the man from Galilee, he obeyed. On his way home, yeah, this was a good story too. On his way home, a servant ran up to him and said, your son is alive, not dead. He said, when? When did this happen? When did this happen? So when he began to realize everything, he realized it happened the hour that God had told him to go home. Fam, y'all got to read these stories in the Bible. These stories be so good. So, when he got home, the whole house was saved. The whole house. The pastor say, 
Can you imagine us? Can God go save my son? And you saying yourself, I done came all the way over here. This, this is my mama cousin. I done came all the way over here. They ask you to take care of my children. To bless my children and keep them alive. You can. The pastor said, when you're going through some things, Boy, our church was good yesterday. He said, when you're going through some things, don't stop at Bunquicha house. Huh? Don't stop at your friends' houses. You go straight home and pray about it and wait on God. Because pastor say, everybody not for you. Everybody don't like you. They didn't even like God in his own town. So you run up telling Bunquicha, you think Bunquicha want to hear that? She don't want to hear that. So, then what I'm telling you, first we got to be like the prodigal son. When you done went out there and messed up and did your blessings, locked your blessings and took out and spent all your blessings, all your blessings are gone, you feel like they're going to go home. Because God is still always there waiting no matter what we do, no matter how we do it, because God knows that we are sinners. So don't worry about when you are talking to God to try to get your family together. Don't stop at Monquisha house. You go home and you pray to God. And you wait on God to come visit your household. And you wait on him to come in and, and do the things that he said he was going to do for you. All right? You guys, y'all know what? Yesterday I cried so hard in church. I cried so hard, tears of joy. And I couldn't even stop the tears from rolling down my eyes, fam. Because I know God is able. I say, God, I know you able. No matter what people go through, no matter how they go through it, I know you able to fix it. I know he's able to fix it. And then to top it off, the pastor said, when you're going through some things, and people don't like you, you got to let them go. You got to let them go. He said, it don't matter who it is, who it is, you have to let them go. They'll be just like the brother son. They'll come back. They'll come back. So whatever is bothering you, if you're going through anything, let that go. It's hard, easier said than done. I can understand that, but you got to let it go. You got to let it go. And that goes for Mama Cuzzo, too. Whatever bothers her. I should have bought me all potatoes. Potatoes rolling. But... Y'all, y'all know what? Do y'all know how many people call me on my Instagram page? A lot of people call me on Instagram. Lots of people. And I just answer the phone for some people. Some people I don't because I be sleeping. I be at work. And they be like, oh, what you, what you talked about today, I was really going through it. I thank you for that word. I just, you know what? The reason why I answer that phone for people like that is because God has blessed me. To give you guys a word, he uses me. And in the time of trouble, people be needing people to talk to who they feel like that they can talk to because of who God uses to talk to them. That's why I pick up my phone on Instagram. But the other day I told God, I, told you, I was talking to God, I said, God, do I have to answer this phone all the time? <laughs> I'm just being real. God said, I send the ones to you, Captain, that needs to talk to you. So you don't have to worry about everybody calling your phone. I just only send the ones who need it, who want to talk to you because they're so grateful that I used you to tell them what I needed you to tell them. So a lot of people be calling me on Instagram. Want to talk. And I be so amazed. I just be truly amazed. You guys, but I want to let you guys know. 
and I have to get up very early in the morning for work. So if you're going to call, just call at a reasonable, decent time. Don't call me in the middle of the night. I'll be getting phone calls in the middle of the night, and I can't block my Instagram. I wouldn't dare block my Instagram. Y'all know what, though? Every time I try, and this is no lie. Every time I miss a lot of days on my channel, it's like God be condemning me. I be feeling so bad, and I be I cooks every day still, and be about to come and sit down, and I just get just don't feel like it. I, I, sometimes I just don't feel like coming over here eating and just, cause I be like just to eat a little bit and just go on. But it's like God be condemning me. You ever be condemned sometimes of some stuff you do? Me too, fam. I smashed the hell. Yeah, I'm going to tell you they were good. They were good too. But look, fam. If God give you blessings, you bless others. Don't try to hold them blessings to yourself. I help a lot of people. Don't nobody need to vouch for me, but I do. I help a lot of people. And I guess that's why I'm so blessed. Because when God blessed me with a blessing, I take my blessing and try to bless other people. That's what you got. Oh, I ain't got enough. I ain't got this. I ain't got this. Sometimes you have to sacrifice. God sacrificed for us to give it to us. Start sacrificing to give to other people, fam. Take your blessings and help somebody else, no matter what it is. Don't let your blessings send you to hell. Okay? Don't let them see you there. I'm gonna tell you. As my mama said. Well, look, fam. You already know what we do at the end of this channel. Know that God loves you. And Mama Cuzzo love you too. Fam, I gotta get it together. The girl don't be wanting to eat no more. I want to be back skinny. There she go. You see, you see her face? I want to be back. Look at it again. Your girl want to. <laughs> One more time for the people in the bag. <laughs> oh, don't forget about my birthday. Friday. I better have. Oh, y'all. I'm going home for my birthday, right? You want to come? You want to come? Okay, in order for you to come, you got to come on Instagram because I got to play my music. I got to do everything. I can't do nothing over here. I can't play no music. I can't do nothing. So, if you want to come, you're going to meet me on Instagram and I'm going to give you... You're going to meet me on Instagram and I'm going to give you the time. I tell you Thursday what time we're going to come because I'm going to go live on Friday. Friday morning, and then we're going to figure, figure, I'm going to go live on Friday morning, and then we're going to figure out what time we're going to meet over there on Instagram, so I can party, so I can play my music, because I'm going to be in Picayune. I'm going to be on the coastline, though, that's where I'm going to be at, and I really want you to come, I really want you to come celebrate my birthday, so when you get ready to descend, your message back to me today. Say, Mama Cuzzle, I'm going to show up on Instagram. I need to know how many going to show up on Instagram. Because I'm going to... Hey. Um. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey. Uh, that girl turning 50, 50, 50. 50. Oh, 50. That girl finna turn 50. What? Sure enough, as God made me open my eyes up, 
What you doing, Mama Cuzzle? I'm about to turn 50. I'm about to turn 50. Turn up, Mama Cuzzle. Then I might even dance, y'all. Because Mama Cuzzle used to dance. Y'all didn't know that. It might just seem like it. But I used to. Um, um, um. <laughs> well, fam, just remember that God loves you and Mama Cuzzle love you too, okay? Be blessed. Don't let your blessings send you to hell. Share them blessings. God got plenty more for you. I promise you he do. Well, be best, fam, and take care.